getting myself set up here. I'm going to haul all of these beautiful stickers. Just a second here. I think this is on. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to turn on my turn this live on on my iPad so that I can see um, and make sure I'm in frame with everything. So this should be starting for me in just a moment. Hope everyone is doing well. I have quite a few orders here to go through. Sup? Okay, there we go. I can see my monitor now and I can see what is in frame. Let's see if I can adjust this a bit so it's a little bit better. Also get that off of there. <laughs> that would help. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Good morning. Really excited about this haul. I am fighting off a cold. Uh, hi, Liliana. I hope so have you caught the live too. Thank you for being here. I am attempting to fight off a cold at the moment. I don't think I'm winning. Um, but... <laughs> I have some stickers that I really, really want to use, and that is why I really need to haul them so that I can open them up and start planning with them. I have uh, orders here from the Pretty Pink Co., Tailor Made Creative Planning, Letters to Apollo, Sadie Stickers, Paper Trail Plans, and this is also Sadie Stickers. So, ooh, I'm trying to keep this covered a little bit. This is the January Mystery Kit from Sadie Stickers. Um, I will open that last in this video. That way, if there's Anyone watching this who does not want the mystery spoiled, that will make sure not to, I will make sure to give plenty of warning before I show that. So let's scoot this over. I think I want to start with letters to Apollo. So let's scoot all of this out of the way. And I will get started with my order from letters to Apollo. Really excited um, to see this collection. This is a decorative kit, um, which similar to what I've been using from Sadie Stickers to decorate my bullet journal, which is why I'm really excited about this because I will definitely be using this in my bullet journal. And so um, I am excited to try out her journal, her decorative style of kits, um, where it's not just like the traditional weekly kit format. Um, which I've never tried from Letters to Apollo before, so I'm excited to see how hers is formatted because the only one I've, only type of kits I've really used like this have been from Sadie Stickers. Um, so I'm really excited to see this type of thing happening with more shops, have more options. So on this page, we have the deco, and this is so beautiful. It's very, it feels very um, romantic. Um, and I'm not completely sure if, like cottage core is the right terminology for that um but it I feel like maybe that's maybe I just have that word stuck in my head because I feel like I've been hearing it a lot on social media but that's what it's making me think it's very very beautiful uh this is the functional page and this is amazing because it gives you uh the days of the week and then gives you the to do this week gratitude habits so you could totally make a little habit tracker this is absolutely made for like um any type of um, journaling, bullet journaling, um, or if you do really functional planning, this is a really great page for that. That's really well designed. Um, and then on this page with the long photo strip, and I really love the way she's that decorated with the florals and then with the type over it, as well as the Polaroids. This is the photo deco page. That's super cute. On this page, she has dolls. That's nice. Sadie Stickers doesn't have dolls in her kits. So this is totally different. Um, and I really like seeing that. This is so cute. Love all of the different dolls that we've got in here. This girl with her flowers is so pretty. On this page, we have florals, essential in, in every sort of kit. 
I really like the scale on these florals. This is nice. Oh my goodness, look at the jumbo scenes. Like, see this, this is, this is, oh, I love the window. That's so beautiful. Love the curtains. Love this uh, like outdoor cafe type scene. That is gorgeous. Oh, we've got, oh, it's a mix of dolls and scenes on this one. This is the scene mix page. So we've got three dolls here and then three scenes. So a little bit smaller scale on this cafe scene. I like that. Love the tea set and then the door with the foliage so beautiful and then a march calendar here and then some scale down deco which i really do appreciate i really love this this is so interesting and again um and we'll see it because i i have um a deco kit from sadie stickers coming up a little bit later in this haul um definitely different than what i'm used to i will say like right off the bat the first thing i'm noticing is i don't have as many florals as i'm used to getting um with this type of a kit uh, but I am excited to give this a try and see how I like her kit format for her decorative kit. Also have some foiled deco included here. I love her coffee stains. I, I really enjoy using coffee stains in my planner. And I think that um, the style of the way she did hers with the way she's got the little dots around it, I really quite like. And then also have some more functional stickers um this is her days of the week really really love this this is so cute i love the way she does that font with like the the lines in between each of the letters so so cute i really like the style of that then we have this without the lines same type of font and i'm quite i really like that um and then again, this one with the numbers, again, with the, the um, line next to it, I just, I really am a big fan of this font. Got to get some more of that in just the other foil colors. And then just like the regular days of the week, so like this pairs with this font here. And then this one pairs with this font. So, so cute. Oh, sorry. I hope the foil is picking up on this. Let me come in a little bit closer. I think I can, I think I might be a little bit zoomed out. then this I really really love these are positive quotes you're doing amazing good things are coming I really enjoy using little like uh word strips like this so so good this is on transparent matte paper I tend to use things like this on premium matte paper but I think this is going to work uh just layer it over something that is um not too busy in the background and then it won't get like lost um, oh, larger coffee rings. So I really do love that she has coffee rings in two sizes. So we have the mini coffee stains and the large coffee stains. And then these beautiful sketch butterflies. I adore butterflies. These are so pretty. Super excited to try all of this out. And a big, big thank you to Jess. She reached out to me uh, to ask if I would be interested in checking out her deco kit and i am so excited to give this a try see how i like it love everything thank you again so much jess i'm really excited to try this next we're going to open up my order from paper trail plans i'm on the pr team for paper trail plans and if you put my name in the notes tay 15 wait tay 15 is my discount code that'll save you 15 percent. and if you put my name in the notes you'll get my freebie <laughs> I feel like sometimes um, when I'm doing my videos and having to talk about my PR codes, it's, it's almost like a script in your head, where, like because you say the same thing over and over. This is my code. And if you put my name in the notes, you will get a freebie. Um, and try not to get that backwards in my head. Um, and Okay, so this is my freebie from Paper Trail Plans. It is in rose gold foil. It is absolutely beautiful. And I actually got a chance to start playing around and using this freebie. I think I used it here. Um, I got a chance to use my quote. I put it in the sidebar here. I've been using the little confetti dots that come on here like everywhere. I don't think I really got a chance to use like the stamps and other stuff on here too, too much. And then also... Might be a little bit tough to see, but there are full box liners on this freebie. 
and so like these cute little thin lines there's two there's well one set and it's what I use to line the full boxes in my page which I did use on this spread because I have like the full set version of these but I was running low on them and then I was like oh I have a couple of my freebies from <laughs> paper trail plans and it's exactly the right foil color that I need so that really came in handy when I was working on this spread which I still need to finish but I really love my freebie from Paper Trail Plans. I also put Cassie's name in the notes to seller when I was placing my order. Um, and Cassie is sweet like honey plants on Instagram. And, wait, and she's also on, you, no, wait, am I thinking of Danny? No, Cassie is on YouTube. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Trying to remember whether or not people are on YouTube sometimes is difficult. But this is Cassie's freebie. Fun fact, when I was designing my freebie, the first things I asked for, um, they, um, paper trail plans, they got back to me and they were like, okay, I'm happy with what you chose. However, just want you to know, Cassie chose the exact same things that you said you wanted on your free feed. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll pick something different. Um, but it's so funny. Um, we, but not surprising, we have similar creative styles. Um, uh, and I really love the music notes from paper trail plans, which if they're not in this order, they're in my next order. Because I know I just picked up a full set of the music notes from Paper Trail Plans. If you can hear the blinds rustling in the background, that is my cat in the window. Apologies for the noise. Um, but I am a cat mama and they are noisy little adorable beings. Anywho, um... <laughs> The Winter Shop Freebie from Paper Trail Plans is, of course, very snowflake themed. And what is great with Paper Trail Plans is they have freebies for the PR team. So um, anyone on the PR team, if you put their name in the notes, you can get their PR freebie. But you always get a um, seasonal freebie with your order from Paper Trail Plans. And it's a quarter size sheet and it's amazing. You get a combination of scripts and deco as always really useful. And I always get really great use out of their freebies. I'm also really loving, um, like the scale and the style of these like cluster decos that they've been including. Uh, I've used a couple of their freebies lately and I really enjoy pulling in those little dot clusters. <clears throat> also picked up these are their doily samplers and this is my second time ordering this and I know the first time I got it I'm trying to remember what I used it on it was probably in my bullet journal um and I remember using it absolutely loving it and then immediately placing another order for it uh because I did not want to run out because I really enjoyed using these I like the way they layer and I like the way they look on the page so happy to have some more of those and then we have to talk about like my new absolute favorite obsession right now because these sidebar color washes so okay we're gonna talk because I have one in the sidebar here and then I've been doing this thing where like I will do a dual column dual column dual sidebar in my spreads Sorry, I keep getting distracted by my cat. Oh, gosh. Um, I keep doing this thing in my spreads where I do these dual sidebars. And what I've been loving is that with using these sidebar color washes, it gives me just this beautiful color on the sides of the page. And I am so in love with this. The way it looks in a finished spread is just absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait to continue doing this in more spreads. And so they offer these in 11 different colors. You can buy it as a bundle and get all 11 colors. Or if you have particular colors you know that you need to work with a certain kit or things you like or colors you tend to use often in your planner spreads, you can pick out the colors that you know are going to work for you. Um, for me, I have... have um, decided to just completely stock up and make sure I have plenty of these uh have so like just placed another order because I if you buy the bundle which is what I've been doing you get all 11 but you only get one of them and I've been doing this thing where I use two of them in each spread however I did only use one of them in this one um when I say this is cherry um I think this is the cherry blossom cherry blossom colorway 
Wait, I think I might have pulled it out of here. There might only... Oh, wait, no. Here it is. This is the cherry colorway. And it's so cute in a spread. It's so good in a spread. Whether you're doing one sidebar, whether you're doing two sidebars, whatever kind of sidebar you're doing, it looks amazing in a spread. I think I also have this one here. This is Magnolia in the background here, which is this one. It's beautiful, subtle, um, like tan color. Absolutely gorgeous. The marigold is a beautiful yellow. They have a mint. The petunia is a little bit of, um, it's a pink, but it leans a little bit more of like with a purplish undertone. They've got a sage green, which I'm really looking forward to using. The clover is another beautiful green. Aqua and cornflower are the two blue shades. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. And then they have a lavender and lilac. Uh, lavender has more of a pinkish undertone to it. Um, and lilac has more of a bluish undertone to that purple shade. They're all absolutely gorgeous colors. And I have been truly, truly obsessed with um, using them in my sidebar. You're going to see that a ton with my planner spreads because it is it is my latest obsession. It is making me insanely happy i really love the way this looks in my spreads uh speaking of other essentials from paper trail plans that just are a necessity when it comes to my planning i use their large month scripts in uh, my what is it, these things called um my monthly spreads as well as my weekly spreads um and also, I use them in my bullet journal, and that is the reason why um, I absolutely needed to have some more of these large monthly spreads because monthly spreads, monthly scripts, because of my bullet journal now. So, uh, in I, I feel like I'm using these a lot. <laughs> And so I wanted to make sure I was fully stocked up on them. I got them in the three foil colors that I always get, which is traditional gold, silver, and rose gold. Uh, they also offer light gold, if that is your personal preference. Light gold leans a little bit more like ivory, and um, traditional gold is more of a yellowy hot gold, which is my personal preference. I also picked this up in black and I thought this might be nice to have for my bullet journal um, in case I decide to go with more of like um, a non-foiled look in a spread. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't have any like immediate plans or ideas, but I definitely wanted to have black non-foiled as an option for me, especially with being in my bullet journal. And then of course, I did also pick up the large months in the vertical. Um, this was one of the things I asked them to do last year. And I'm so glad I did because I have been really, really loving the way the vertical um, large month looks in the sidebar in my uh, weekly spreads. So, so, so happy with this and absolutely needed to make sure I had plenty more of these because you only get one. I mean, obviously, because it's a large script, you only get one of each month on each page and so i don't use the large months for every single week of my spreads like here where i went with that more of the smaller size and smaller size here all of these scripts are from paper trail plans um because i get most of my scripts from paper trail plans uh but i really like having the option to have the large months if i want to do um, a sidebar where it has where the month is like the a feature focal point in the sidebar so got some more of those I feel like um this this order from paper trail plans was definitely me stocking up on sub very much essential and necessary things and I feel like it's it's so funny with these color washes and I've been getting a lot of questions about them on Instagram lately because I've been posting and sharing my spreads and I've been using them so much lately which by the way, was this one the, I think this might be lavender uh, that I had, that I used on this spread. So, they're so gorgeous and they just look amazing in a spread. Um, and I feel like it's one of those things that when you see it on their website, it's just like this rectangle of color. It doesn't, it doesn't look fancy, right? It's not beautiful like a, um, like a full box or like a flower or something that like catches your eye and it's like, Ooh, look how pretty that is. But they're so freaking awesome. I just, my obsession with these is just so real because 
they just they take a spread to the next level this has been one of those things that like from the moment i started really getting into fully decorative sidebars and that was like two years ago now i remember when i first got started with this and i switched from where my sidebars used to just be like um I have a quote box and I have a trackers then my um full box checklist would all be in the sidebar it was very very functional when I switched from that to doing decorative I was when I first started thinking god it would really be nice to have something that was just like a nice background thing that I could put in my sidebar doesn't I don't want it to be too distracting or too busy or anything like that but just something that would be a nice background I didn't know what that was at that time uh but i just remember thinking it was one of those things that would be nice to have and then we get to cut to two years later and paper trail plans comes out with these sidebar color washes and i'm like that is what i've been wanting for the last two years that's what i've been that's what i've been needing and missing in my planner life and i feel like that happens a lot with paper trail plans they are so creative and really good at coming up with things that that just oh, they, they're I don't like things I don't even know that I need but I need them and the moment I get them I'm like that's that's the thing I've been needing that I've I get that I get that a lot with favorite trail plans they they do that just incredibly well um this is this next shop this is Taylor Bay Creative Planning and I have a gorgeous kit from them which um oh my goodness I that's so beautiful love this kit so much sorry let me check out the comments Coco look hey said I need those yeah yeah we all do it's, it's just like the simplest little sticker but they are amazing uh and Lily Powell said I get black too i love those yay i'm glad i'm not the only one Ooh, we've got a saint patch look how cute this is shut up oh man this is adorable and i never i don't think i ever really do like a, a fully saint patrick's themed um like week like for the whole spread i'll usually decorate the day but not the entire week I have, i've got to hold on to this like this is just going to be the cutest way to mark that day and i gotta figure out what kit i can use where this won't like be a majorly clashing because this is too freaking cute not to use i love this so so much this is the february freebie uh for tailor made creative planning it is non-foiled and it is st patrick's day themed for march you also get uh some day scripts as long as a reminder and an important really well designed and then this is my freebie with tailor made creative planning uh, my code is tay15 to save 15 percent. and then if you put my name in the notes to seller this is the freebie that you'll get which has some beautiful florals script and these scallop circles which look how cute this is love it so much um and then i picked up a couple of dolls um these two dolls actually like after this order i think i'll place another order for some more dolls and that will like the next time i do a haul you'll see uh the other dolls that i picked up from taylor made creative planning she released so many beautiful dolls that i was just like yep yep gotta have them all uh but i thought this doll would be really fun to pair with this kit um and so this is likely the doll that I'm going to use. I wasn't sure if I'd prefer her with or without the florals to pair with this kit. I guess I'll find out when I sit down to actually plan the spread, which one makes the most sense to pair with it. I think it's going to be the one with the flowers, but um, I tend to be quite partial to flowers. <laughs> this kit is called Lovely Day, and this is such a gorgeous spring kit. Also really happy that this is foiled with gold foil. Um, because I've been using a lot of rose gold foil lately, so it'll be nice to shift into a little bit more gold, which I think I'll probably get into a lot of gold going into March. February has been a lot of rose gold, but I think March may um, start to lead a little bit more gold, which will be a nice change of pace. On this page, we have our nine full boxes. I don't even think I could possibly <laughs> pick a favorite. I love this swing. I love the sneakers. I really love this scene with the macaroons. The florals are just like, oh man, 
uh, like so many great boxes on here. Um, the with um, Taylor Me Creative Planning, her kits always have some torn paper uh, corners tucked into the tops. There's four uh, torn paper strips at the top of the page. It's really good use of space and design there. On um, this page, this, wait a minute, those are, oh, wow, that's just like a really large version of that. Hold on, because I was going to say, this is the, so usually we have the square cut, um, larger bottom washi piece, but this one is actually contour cut around the florals, and so the only square cut washi strip here is the thinner one, which is got the gingham print on it with the foil detail going through it, which this is just, I mean, right up my alley in terms of the way that I like to do my bottom washi anyways. Um, and so this is absolutely perfect for me. I really love the way she did this bottom washi for this kit, or we've just got the two larger floral cutouts with the gingham. That is so gorgeous. So really, really love these. I've been because I've been doing this whole thing, going through this phase with the uh, dual sidebar things and really um, sort of outlining that section by using the thin strips that come in kits. I've been really enjoying these a lot lately because because of the way that I've been using them and even um, with this one, really just sort of outlining this section. It's something I'm really enjoying right now. Um, and so these have become like one of those things where it was like, Oh, nice to have in a kit to now it's like, oh, kind of essential for me <laughs> to have those, which is it's fine if I don't have it in a kit because I actually have thin strips that I order from um, Paper Trail Plans that I always keep in stock in multiple colors just in case to have what I need. And see, I feel like Paper Trail Plans just continues to be like my go to essentials. Um, type of shop just to make sure I'm stocked up on things. So if a kit doesn't have the exact formatting that works for me, I've always got backup. Paper Trail Plans keeps me taken care of, but not an issue here because this kit has exactly what I need. On this page, we've got um, I don't the swatches, the little blobby circles, the little blobby squares. Super super cute. Love the um, the thinner headers that we get now in these kits. This, I mean so delicate and dainty really really beautiful and then the scalloped um dividers that we've got here as well absolutely stunning then we've got some really cute deco look at the little bunny um and the florals as well as the journaling elements and i think that is is such a good design for um for the main part of her kit. So we've even got some of the journaling torn paper on this page. There's some more headers tucked into the bottom here. I think the design of this is just incredible because if you don't get any of like the journaling add-on pages, but you want some of that to be included in your spread, you're getting a really good amount of it just in the standard kit, which is fantastic. On this page, her box page is just so well designed loving the scallop circles the ovals the mini box this is new this is so cute there's like a little floral design around the border of that one that's really pretty and then you get the boxes with the thinner outline the thicker border quarter boxes third boxes half boxes her box design page is just super well done uh, and really pared down easy to decorate this is a really well formatted kit. I love the way she formats her kits and this one is stunning. Cannot wait to use that. Um, for some reason, I thought I would only need one sheet of florals on each of these. This makes me nervous. I feel like this might not be enough florals, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that thought because I could be wrong. Um, I have a tendency to overbuy when it comes to florals, but that, but it makes me more comfortable because if I feel like I don't have enough, what I'll end up doing is like rationing on the first half of my page so I don't run out of florals. And then I get to the second half of my page and I'm like, oh, now you have too many. And so I think sometimes I feel safest when I over order a little bit on my floral deco. <laughs> that way I'm not scared the whole time I'm planning that I'm going to run out. But I think I'm going to be okay because I because I did get the large florals, which is probably why I was thinking I would only need one of each of the small ones, which I got in transparent matte and premium matte. 
I, oh wait, and there's even, there's florals even on here. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Okay, no, I actually probably put more thought into that than I realized. Yeah, oh my God, there's florals even on this. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> oh, all that panic for nothing. Good morning, Monk and Marple. Um, Lily Pell said, oh, that could be an Easter cake. You are right. I, I literally am like just missing all the signs. There's a little bunny like right here. This would be totally perfect for Easter and cute little macaroons and the cake. Um, I really love the design of this because this kit could just be a spring kit if you don't want to use it for Easter or you could absolutely use this for Easter. Um, which I may end up doing. We will see where this ends up in my spreads because this one is, I mean, just absolutely beautiful. So I got the large floral deco on transparent matte paper, which I've really, really been loving having large florals on transparent matte paper. Um, I tend to use them in my sidebar and then also decorating, decorating along the top. So like here, I've got large florals in the sidebar kind of layered underneath some of the other layering that's on top of it the other stickers um and what I love about that is that the 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 large florals become a little bit more of just like a background and then I like taking them across the top here uh because I've been becoming a little bit more minimalistic with what's happening in my date covered deco area because I'm doing so so much on the the two sidebars now I don't want it to look cluttered and so what I like with having the transparent matte large florals is I can put them at the top and in the sides in the background and they don't become a distraction from what else is happening in the spread. They're just a nice subtle detail because uh, they're not quite as bold as having them on the premium matte paper. So I've, I've absolutely been enjoying um, having florals on transparent matte paper. I also picked up the deco page on transparent matte paper and I'm a I'm almost certain this was an accident. Pretty sure I meant to order this on premium matte because I tend to like having my clip art on premium matte paper, but I am not panicking because I think I might enjoy this. I, I think I might, I think I might be happy with that. Um, that is super interesting because like, I'm so obsessed with those cute little sneakers. That is just too cute. I really love all of the clip art images here. Um, I think this is going to be fun. I tend to like having my clip art on premium matte paper. Um, and I think I might've just been order moving too quickly when I was placing this order, um, and accidentally selected transparent matte paper, but I, I still think I'm going to be able to make that work. Um, uh, plus there's some really cute deco on here on premium matte paper. So I've got some other options, um, in case I need to, because it really comes down to layering because I do so much layering and sometimes depending on what I'm putting it on top of, um, it's, it's easier to see the image if it's on premium matte paper when I've got like the transparent matte paper layered underneath it. Um, hope that's making sense. Um, I may go back and I may go, like I'm sitting here thinking I might go back and order another one just another sheet of this page on trans on premium matte paper just so just in case um I'm nervous that one's making me a little bit nervous but maybe I don't have a reason to panic and maybe if I try something different I will realize it's a good thing we'll see what happens um and then I got the journaling page which to this page I did get on premium matte paper which has the gingham corners, some more torn paper, love all of the journaling elements. This tag is one of my favorite things that she includes in her spreads. She, this is another tailor-made creative planning kit and this is that tag here. It just it layers so cute in a spread and it's kind of just a fun and different piece um, than I get in some of the other kits that I use and so layering and pulling this into a spread has just been a lot of fun for me. I really like that shape. It's easy to work with um, and easy to be creative with as well as all the other torn paper also Big fan of the little binder clips that she includes in here. The paper clips I like, but I wish I did have these on transparent matte paper because the border around them kind of takes away from it when you try to layer it over something. Like with the binder clips, it doesn't 
bother me as much sorry i hope that's in frame so you guys can see what i'm talking about but with the paper clip i found i didn't really like it quite as much and here i go dropping stickers on the page where are my tweezers um but that's just my personal opinion honestly i still think it works uh but I find that I really enjoy using the binder clips a little bit more than the paper clips just because of that border. I also really, really love these photo strips that she includes in here. On the journaling page, she'll do the photo strips and put a picture inside of it. And then usually in the kit itself, you'll get the photo strip with nothing inside of it, but it's a frame. And so if you want to layer your own deco behind it or layer florals or whatever you want to put behind it, you can put your own thing here. And I like that she does that as a frame because then you can like weave foiled stickers in and out of it and get super creative with it. Her, her the photo strips are so cute. Um, that is the lovely day kit from Taylor May Creative Planning. Absolutely looking forward to using that one. So that'll be coming up this spring. Let's see who we have next. This is the Pretty Pink Co. I am on the PR team for the Pretty Pink Co. My code is TAY15. And if you put my name in the notes to seller, you will get my freebie. Let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I think it was like November maybe I, um, when the Pretty Pink Co. started doing a collaboration with Paper Crown Planner and Paper Crown Planner uh, this was totally new to me so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to introduce this the best way I can um, actually sorry really quickly our freebies so this is the all order freebie which was her winter freebie which has really gorgeous snowflakes on it this saved my life when I was working on my winter spreads in December. It's such a useful freebie and those snowflakes are amazing. Then I put Cassie's name in the notes to seller. Apparently Cassie's been on my brain. Uh, we're on several PR teams together and apparently I just keep putting her name in the notes to seller. And I do that sometimes because I one, I most of the time when I'm placing my order, I'll probably just put my name in the notes to seller. But then sometimes I'll be like, oh, I want to check out one of the other girls' names on the team. And I think um, then my next thought is, who all else is on this team with me and I think Cassie's name keeps coming to mind because I know she's also on the same team with me <laughs> so that's that's probably just my memory um and or lack thereof uh is why I keep getting Cassie's freebies because I know that she's probably on that team with me as well um then we have my freebie from the Pretty Pink Coat, which has music notes, photo strip, some super cute little dot clusters, and these leaves that I am absolutely obsessed with. Oh, did I? Oh, I must have ordered this to pair with this kit here because these are snowflakes in rose gold, which makes perfect sense because I don't have any snowflakes in rose gold. Typically, when I'm buying snowflakes, I'll usually get them just in silver because most if not, I think all of the winter kits that I used were silver foiled, which is super common. Um, silver is very, very popular for winter kits. Uh, but I think that was also what caught my attention with this kit in particular was that it was a winter snow themed kit, but it was foiled with rose gold foil. Uh, so these are the snowflake clusters and the snowflake mini deco that I picked up in rose gold foil to pair with this kit. Um, one second let's plug in my ipad so that it does not die i really need to be able to see this monitor okay um so this is the snowy city kit uh and this is so so stunning um uh, i'm gonna be honest I don't remember exactly when I ordered this, but whenever I ordered it, I think I was expecting to get this in January and to be able to use this kit in January since it's just now getting here, kind of towards the middle of February. Um, what uh, this one's just gonna wait until like this December. Uh, so it's gonna be a minute before I get a chance to actually use this kit because I'm kind of done with winter in my planner. Um, and I, I think that's mostly, of course, just because I live in Southern California. And so 
once I, well, I don't even know if that necessarily has to do with like the area that I'm in, but I feel like winter lasts a little bit longer for some people. Their, their weather is still super, super cold. But for me, when it comes to my planner, I think I do winter in like December and January. I get to February and it shifts to like Black history and Valentine's and romance and like February gets taken over by that for my planner. And then the moment I get to March, I jump right into spring um, and spring themed kits. So this one is um this one I'm gonna hold on to because I do think this is stunning I mean look at it the colors are gorgeous I really love this, this is rose gold world um definitely gonna hold on to this for this coming December because this will be a nice break from all the other silver foiled winter kits that I will use this coming December but we've got our nine full boxes some label stickers down at the bottom on this page her box page is gorgeously designed um and so again sorry I think I might have been trying to explain this and then got sidetracked by the freebies so this is a collab between the pretty pink color and paper crown planner as far as i know paper crown planner was a printable planner shop um so prior to this collab if you purchased a kit from her you needed to either um, be able to print it out on your own and cut out all of the pieces or have your own silhouette or quick cricket or something like that uh, or of course you could cut it by hand if you um were really really good um and but now what's what's great with this collaboration is if you like the designs and kits from the Paper Crown Planner, you can get them from the Pretty Pink Co. And they're already printed and cut for you, which is absolutely amazing uh, because the way she designs these kits are simply stunning. I really, really love this. Uh, and this is my first time ever getting a kit from Paper Crown Planner. The Her formatting is fantastic. So on this page, we've got a mix of her boxes and then we've got her headers down at the bottom and she's got, oh, those are scalloped. That's pretty. Then she's got single bow headers. These are thinner than the traditional um, thicker headers. And then this one has just got the single foiled line on it. On this page, we have some really beautiful icons. Um, I like her design style of her icons, very similar to what I'm used to using. We've got some floral deco here. Uh, this is really nice, like this little corner. If you don't get any of like the journaling add-ons, you've still got some of that included in the main body of the kit. Some brush strokes, scallop circles and squares, some little fancy boxes, touring paper at the bottom here, and even some scallop corners. That she's made really good use of the design and pages and what you get on the pages here. Um, on this page, we've got the um, thicker bottom washi strip, which has the florals. It's got script on it that is beautifully designed. And then the thinner top strip with the double foil line on there. And then the scalloped thin strip, which as you all know, as I just said a few minutes ago, I am a huge, huge fan of those thin strips. We've got the brush strokes styled day covers and your sidebar stickers, your habit trackers, and then this uh, box here that you can easily turn into a checklist box. Look at the floral deco, absolutely stunning. Full page of floral deco where you get um, bunches of flusters, bunches of flusters, fluster, mm, wow, okay, hold on. <laughs> bunches of florals there we go <laughs> you've got floral bunches individual pieces the leaves the whoo bunches of flusters I don't even know I, I'm trying to figure out what two words rammed together in my head that somehow got us to bunches of flusters floral clusters that that's probably it um <laughs> it's just a washy trip with the florals and the divider lace trims of florals <laughs> oh oh man sorry that's gonna be stuck in my head for a while bunches of flusters um anywho. <laughs> oh okay um what, what am i saying this is the journaling page <laughs> on this page we've got um, so days of the week, I really like these circles. These are so cute. It's like the, um, the, the simple outline of that, right? That, I really, really like that. Just oh, the design of that is really cool. I, I am a big fan. Then we've got the large corner florals and brush strip. This, the design of this kit is stunning. 
I'm loving all of these different journaling elements on here. This is gorgeous. Big, big fan of that. It seems so simple. It's just a little circle with just a black outline. And I really like that it's not foiled. It, it, it gives it that more journaly look um, and it's a little bit more sketchy. Ugh. It seems so simple, but I'm so stuck on those two little circles with all of the gorgeous things happening around it and everything around it is in fact quite stunning. But that is holding my attention like crazy. Uh, then on this, whoa, love that. It's like this scene oh, with the bridge and it looks like the Disney castle in the background and the pink tree. This is gorgeous. Love the macaroons and, and coffee. Oh, look how cute the little phone and it has the scene pulled up like it's on Instagram and just like you just took this amazing photo. Love the postage stamp. This is gorgeously designed. I am so happy for this collab. Um, and I definitely, you will see me using a kit from Paper Crown Planner sooner than winter uh, because I did order another kit that they created and um, they did another collab. So that should be coming in my next haul. Um, from that includes the pretty pink coat will have that kit in it which i'm really excited about because it's more of a spring themed kit so i'll be able to use it sooner than this one which this will show up in my planner uh towards the end of this year <laughs> but this this is the floral deco that i picked up to pair with this these are the florals for um the oh goodness um a steep uh yeah i'm gonna, i'm just gonna show you the name of this kit because uh if i attempt to pronounce this i don't speak french and i'm going to mess it up and uh, but i picked up this journaling kit which i shared this i think in my last haul i am planning to use this kit um in the month of february and so i picked up some of the floral deco because i had only gotten the journaling kit because i think originally when i bought this i was planning to use this for like a dashboard page um and that was before i shifted to doing the whole bullet journaling instead of doing a dashboard page in my planner and so now i've just want to like just go ahead and do a full weekly spread using this and um really get kind of creative push myself out of the box here because um, turning a journaling kit into a full spread is always fun for me. Uh, but I absolutely needed to get some floral deco to pair with it. Um, and so I picked up the floral deco page number one. And again, I mean, exactly the way I love to see my floral deco, the bunches, the individual pieces, all of the leaves, uh, and everything going in so many different directions. Gotta be so easy to kind of tuck and, and, uh, layer with these types of florals. And then, of course, the uh, long washi trim florals as well as the short divider length one. So this one absolutely going to be amazing. And I will be using this kit very, very soon because I am planning to use this as one of my February spreads. So also why I needed to get through this gorgeous haul. Um, so then I can start using my stickers. Um... Are we, are we here? Are we at the Sadie stickers point? I think I was trying to save Sadie stickers for last intentionally because included in uh, Sadie stickers is uh, the January mystery kit. So I'm going to start with these kits first as well as this um, deco order. And then I will give another warning and let everyone know in case you don't want the January mystery spoiled for you. I will give you a warning before I open up that kit. So moving on to Sadie stickers. <laughs> hey, I've, I picked someone other than Cassie this time. This I'm on Sadie stickers PR team. My code is Tay20. And if you put my name in the notes to sell her, you'll get my freebie. But this is not my freebie. I actually put Danny's name in the notes to sell her for this one. And so I got Danny's freebie, which has the collab phone frame that she did with Sadie stickers. And so if you like lift this up, it is just a frame it's hollow in the center and you can add and layer whatever you want underneath it and it's just like the cutest little frame um and it looks like a cell phone and then she's got the bench and the swing the tree some dot clusters my favorite clusters which actually literally just actually got a full set of these are the ink splatter clusters 
absolutely obsessed with those things some dividers over here and then i like the dividers with the garland so that is danny's freebie from sadie stickers also picked up these binder clips and i got those on black definitely was thinking about my bullet journal with this one as it feels like a very journaly thing to have the skill on this is definitely smaller than i thought it was going to be um and i do not know if if that's going to work in my bullet journal actually as I think about that now because my bullet journal it's just like everything feels really big when I'm in my bullet journal um and I think that's mostly just because I've been used to being in a b6 planner and so it's like everything being scaled down for a b6 planner like works uh but I'm now having to shift the way I think when I um start thinking about my bullet journal but I I'm I'm gonna figure out what I want to do with these because I really like that but I am I am um, now realizing I think that scale might be a bit smaller than I originally thought. Ooh, um, look at these dragonflies. This is so cute. I love the dragonflies. I got these in gold, silver, and rose gold foil. Really, really like these. This will be fun to use for spring. Um, I'm sure I will have tons of spring kits that I can pair that with. And then I got the flower petals. This I'm really excited about. And this I, I'm I'm very excited about. And I hope I can figure out how to do this properly. Uh, so the idea I have in my head with these flower petals is I want to figure out how to make it look like they're kind of just like falling down, right? Like leaves falling off a tree, but just like petals um, falling down. Uh, onto my spread and so I need to figure out how to like properly paste place them on the page to give that sort of falling petal effect uh, but that is my idea with these I really am excited about giving these flower petals a try I think that's going to be fun to play around with with spring I saw those in the shop and I was like oh I have an idea <laughs> so now we'll see if I can actually pull that one off um and then with this, I picked up the ink clusters. I'm, I'm not pretty sure. I know for a fact <laughs> I got this in all three uh, foil colors. I got it in gold, silver, and rose gold. And I actually just pulled out the rose gold because I did not have time to wait to actually haul that because I needed to use it in um, some spreads, uh, which is why I don't have it in here and um, where it should be is put away in my um cluster deco pocket file but i'm pretty sure it's not in here either because i'm pretty sure i have it out and i'm using it on a spread no wait here it is i, I was so wrong so this is the ink splatter cluster do i have two of these because this one's not even used i'm pretty sure i have two of these and didn't even realize it but anyways that's what it looks like in rose gold <laughs> oh some if i had a dollar for every sticker i have i'd be so rich i am stickers rich y'all my goodness so so awesome okay anywho that's what it looks like in rose gold and then silver and gold which i know i have the rose gold out because i'm using it on the spread i'm working on right now so i didn't realize i had two sheets of that but i'm glad i do because i'm using up that rose gold one quite a bit i think i've gone through like two rows of it on the spread i'm using right now already then i picked up a couple kids wait there's wait nope that's still not my freebie good grief okay my freebie is really good from Sadie stickers too and i think i'm pretty sure i used it all up when i was working on my um winter spreads because mine is in silver foil and similar to this one this is from jenny jenny and her plans um who is jenny and her plans on instagram and uh we both chose the snowflakes and these scripty words and the brush strokes uh the biggest difference of course being that hers is in rose gold foil mine is in silver foil this is a stunning stunning freebie and i'm super glad i got this because i've also been using these a lot lately in my spreads um and actually just placed a reorder to get more of like the full deco sheet of this because i have been going through those like crazy i love using these things in my spreads and then also in my bullet journal um that's it for freebies okay cool then i picked up a kit now this is the courage kit from Zadie stickers and i saw this and i think i fell in love with the florals and was excited to check out this full kit and um and i think this will be fun for spring um i'm gonna be honest 
I'm not loving this in person as much as I thought I was going to. And I don't know why. Um, I, I still really like the florals. I don't know. I don't love the bust. I really like this one. I like this with the typewriter. I like this box and I like the florals. And that's going to be good. And actually, I like this one too. I think maybe it's just this one I don't like. <laughs> But I think the colors on here are super beautiful. I love the lavender and that tangerine and the pink. So, so beautiful. Um, then on this page, we've got uh, more of like the journaling elements here with the blobby circles and squares and the brush strokes, torn paper. She just the best like journaling elements here. Then we've got the thinner stripped headers at the top here. And I love the way she does her floral headers now. It used to be when shops would design uh, floral headers, there would be like one design of a floral and it would just be cut up into strips. The way she does it now where it's a little bit more mixed and you get a more even disbursement of the floral across the entire header. So, so well designed. These are so delicate. I love the, the thin strip scallop dividers there absolutely stunning gorgeous bottom washi this kit is foiled in gold foil which is so beautiful for spring which is, see this is what i'm excited about um i like that um i like getting a little bit of variety when it comes to the foil colors that i'm using it helps me like stretch out all of the foil deco that i'm using that way i'm not going through like one color of my foil quicker than the other two uh, so I try to give as much balance as I can, uh, but there's certain colors tend to be more popular depending on the season. So it's just, that kind of just is what it is. Uh, but I like when I can get a little bit of variety in my foil coloring. So I'm excited to be seeing some gold. Um, then we have the alcohol ink swatches. Really love her alcohol ink swatches page. I think she's done a really good job of the various sizes that she offers with her alcohol ink swatches. I, they just work so, so well for me. Uh, I love the scale on here and these just look amazing on the page. And I like that, of course, it is matched perfectly back to the kit. See, I think the florals are what made me absolutely fall in love with this kit. These florals are gorgeous. I ugh, so obsessed. So, so stunning. Love the florals, the, the bunches, individual pieces. These are so good. Then we've got the journaling page. And I really do love, I love these different elements. Look at this cute little filing set, the candle, the stacked letters, the stamps, the books. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So many great images to work with. That is fantastic. And then her journaling page, it is so well designed. I love all of the different torn papers, the washi strips, the corners, the larger torn um, paper. And I, I've really been enjoying these new boxes that she added recently in her latest format, the stamps, the um, what is arches, all of it. So gorgeously designed. I absolutely love it. So that is the Courage Kit from Sadie Stickers. Now, this flowers kit, this I am excited to take a look at because I really like this scene here. Uh, and it makes me think about this kit here. And I think mostly just because of like the rocks in the water. I, I like the look of that. Um, and I'm excited to see the rest of the deco and, and the rest of what this kit looks like. So this is the flowers kit from Sadie Stickers. We have, let's see, we have our full boxes here. This is in silver foil. Oh, that's good. That's really good. See, so again, so exactly what I was talking about with wanting to have variety of my foil color for a kit that is so very spring for this to be silver foil and not gold is really nice. I like that a little, look at the little cat. There's a cat on the bench. I'm a cat mom that that just made this like the best kit in the whole world. There's a dragonfly here. I can pull in my little dragonfly stickers. So, so cute. Just, I love this. I love all of these full boxes. This makes me happy. The colors of this kit are stunning. I'm going to go through this a little bit faster since we've already seen the kit format. Uh, and so we're just seeing this colorway that is gorgeous. Love so much. This is beautiful. 
Oh, I love that bottom washi. The deco over here is so pretty. This is absolutely lovely. Then the alcohol ink swatches to match this kit. Oh, wow. And then just look at these gorgeous images. I mean, that, I love the bench. This, this, it's, um, I feel like this absolutely gives me the potential to do a really fun scene going across um, the bottom of the page, kind of similar to what I did here, where you can totally make a scene with just the decorative elements that she included in here. And that's what makes me the most excited about this. Also, uh, these flowers are stunning. I really like those. Oh, so, so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to use this kit. This is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Big, big fan. This one, this one makes me so happy. I really love these. These are so, so pretty. It's just like this little squiggly um, line that she's been doing. I pulled it in at the top of this one. This is the one that has the squiggly line with the butterflies. Um, and then this one has the squiggly line with the flowers that match this kit. This is so, so good. I also really like the hanging tire. That'll be fun to use um, kind of in a scene, kind of the same way I did with the branch with the hanging um, chair swing chair. So, oh. in, in case you are just now popping in and didn't catch the beginning of this haul, I'm, I'm fighting a little bit of a cold and my brain's not working the best it can be. I am hoping that the words I am saying during this haul are making sense. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been struggling to find some words. Um, chair swing, tire swing, swing on a tree. That's, that's, that's the concept. That's, that's where my brain is trying to go. I really like all of the different foil elements here. This, I, I'm just love it so much this has some dragonflies and then cute little bumblebees and butterflies on here great mix love the clusters and the stamps and I, I um actually if you are familiar with Sadie stickers and what she used to do with her two dollar Tuesday releases she's actually made a big shift this year in that she doesn't do $2 Tuesdays the way that she used to anymore. We used to, on Tuesdays, would get a release of several different designs that would come on this sized sheet of um, of paper, a sticker sheet, and um, you, you would order them in whatever foil colors and, and all of that, and, there would always, and each week there'd be a new release. And so what she started doing this year is she started making these more like these samplers that you can order and then you can get more of like the um, full size quarter sheets of different types of stickers that you want um, that she has available in the shop. But for the most part, we're not really getting $2 Tuesday anymore. We're getting more of these sampler styles, uh, which pair back to the different kits that she releases each week and she releases them at the same time. Why I love that is that what she did and I, and actually she she'd made a shift last year which I thought was really good where she was releasing two dollar Tuesday plus the kits at the same time because before that she would release two dollar Tuesday and then on Friday she'd release the kit but on Thursday two dollar Tuesday would come down and so what always made me sad about that is I wouldn't know necessarily what I would need from two dollar Tuesday until I saw the kit that got released that Friday and so. Um, sometimes it was hard to know exactly what you would need or want from that $2 Tuesday. And now with the way she's doing it, where you get the kit that's released at the same time as the foil sampler, you know exactly what you need to pair with your kit and what's going to complement it. I think the way that she's doing these releases now makes a lot of sense and it makes it really easy to order. Um, and I, I, I quite like that a lot. So we have now come to the almost end of this haul we it is now time to reveal Sadie stickers January mystery kit uh, if you do not want to see the reveal of this kit uh, now would be the time to check out of this live and you can come back and watch this part later if you want uh, or not at all but uh, if, if this is where if this is where you check out thank you for being here I've appreciated it so much for the rest of you who are sticking around let's go ahead and take a look at the January mystery kit from Sadie stickers so for the January mystery kit, I have this gorgeous vellum 
so so beautiful uh as well as the weekly kit and decorative kit uh and really love that i get both the decorative kit i will be using for my um bullet journal i'm pretty sure this is what i'm gonna do for my march setup and my bullet journal the color of this is just everything this kit is peach themed and i remember when she released that um because she always does like the little sneak peek uh where you can kind of get an idea of what the theme the mood board that's what it's called she always does a mood board right before she releases her um or as she's releasing her mystery kits which oh my goodness if you have not seen the mood board and the release for the february mystery kit immediately after you're done watching this video immediately go to Sadie stickers it is stunning and it is the same floral deco as this so this kit that i use this was a kit from ink paper plan but these florals this floral here that i pulled into this this floral is from Sadie stickers this was not a part of this ink paper plan kit um but i thought the floral colors would match this kit really well and it did it looks gorgeous that aside the point i'm trying to make is the mystery kit that Sadie Stickers just released, the one for February, thank she's Louise. It's hard to think at the moment, y'all. My brain is, is in a bit of pain. Anywho, the florals are the exact same florals that are in the kit that she just released for this upcoming mystery. It's such a gorgeous color palette. It's such beautiful florals. Cannot wait to get the February mystery kit. It is so beautiful i of course don't know what the full kit is going to look like but what i've seen from the mood board i am a big big fan so let's start with the weekly kit and so we have this gorgeous peach themed kit this is foiled in gold foil i uh, i this is this is i am so obsessed with this one I really love the peaches. I love the theme. I love all of the images on here. This is going to be one of those where I do think I will probably use both. And that can sometimes feel a little bit hard for me because sometimes I feel like if I do one in my bullet journal, I may not, I, I may have used up all of the inspiration or like original thoughts and ideas that I might have had or my original creativity of whatever I'm going to do with the kit. But I feel like I might be good with this one. I might use, I might go ahead and use both of these, put this one in my, um, my B6 planner and put this one in my bullet journal and, and still not be over this color palette. This, oh, this, I love these colors. I feel like I am really embracing a lot of color this year. Um, and that is making me so happy. This is so beautiful. Look at this clip art. Could it be any cuter? I just, I cannot. I love, I love the florals. I love the mix of gingham. I just, I love all of this. This is giving me very bright and cheerful and happy and fo Ooh. Oh, wow. She did gingham alcoholing swatches. Girl. Oh, wow. I'm in love. Shut up. Gingham alcoholing swatches. I have, this is the first, I've, I have not seen this before. That is amazing. I love that. So, so good. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a really nice surprise to see. Uh, then we have the large florals which um with her mystery kits these are part of a subscription with her subscription you can order just that month or you can order three months six months or a full year uh so those are your options when it comes to this subscription and so if you are not following sadie stickers you can follow her on youtube and on instagram i feel like things hit instagram before they hit youtube it's a little bit faster and so if you're following on Instagram, you'll always know when she's come out with her uh, latest mystery release and you'll get a chance to see the mood board for that month and get an idea of what it's going to look like. And then she also does updates on her YouTube channel as well. And so if you if you don't have an Instagram account and you're not using that app, you I highly recommend following her on YouTube. She shares her new releases on her YouTube channel. And so it's a great resource for keeping up what's going on with Sadie Stickers. Anywho, back to this page. So we get 
with the mystery kits you get the full page kit you get the alcohol ink swatches you get the large floral deco that's a full sheet of floral deco you get the journaling kit add-on comes with it which has all of this gorgeous deco plus all of the journaling elements plus you get a foiled deco add-on which this i mean is, is of course designed to work perfectly with the kit i think that her mystery kits are such a good deal and because you get everything bundled together and I think the way that she does that is really smart and really well done uh, because you get so much that comes in that mystery kit is totally worth it in my opinion I do understand that like the difficulty with a mystery kit is not knowing whether or not each month you're going to like the the theme um I do think she does offer an option to skip I kind of want to not say that definitively uh, because I would need to look into it and make sure but I do know you get a notification each month before um before you get charged for the kit if you decide to do the recurring thing or if you just see the mood board and just want to pick up that month's kit you have that option um during the month and I try to give as much warning about that because with mystery kits once they're released they're gone so like um, unfortunately, if you're seeing this now in my haul and thinking, oh, that's super beautiful. I'd like to go pick up the kit. Unfortunately, that's not an option anymore. That's just the way mystery kits work. Uh, so try, just trying to make sure everyone is aware. Then we have the decor kit, decorative kit, which is just going to be so perfect for my bullet journal. We have the large florals, which these work amazing. And I don't want to forget to talk about the vellum, which... I love that we also got vellum included with our mystery kit as well. Um, then on this page, this is the deco page, which has this gorgeous house, the tree, the gingham, the bicycle, the basket with the peaches, these washi swatches, which are the extra long swatches with the floral. So, so gorgeous. Um, then we have the mini swatches, which is shorter. I'm really excited about this. I've been um, working on my bullet journal and trying to figure out what I was doing with that. My plan is to actually film my first bullet journal um, spread for YouTube um, for the month of March because I feel like now I've had a chance to practice and kind of figure out what it is I'm doing. I'm still absolutely not an expert. I am definitely still a novice when it comes to my bullet journal but I think I've, I at least know enough of what I'm doing where I can film it and share it on YouTube uh, because I've, I know I've been getting quite a few requests for that. Then we have the box swatches. I always love the box swatches page because it's it's not like the typical square. They're, uh, they've got a little bit more of a fun cut border and so it makes these these pieces really fun to play around with and they, they layer on a page absolutely beautifully. Then we have the paper strips page so many just like amazing fun shapes and things to work with her um days page love the formatting of this you get a couple of different options uh with florals without florals with the highlight going through it uh whatever you like i love this page with the date dots i always use this to create my little calendar page at the beginning of the month uh and i love that she also includes the little dots without any numbers on them this is so so cute uh, the large border florals, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the corners, and then the larger floral deco in between. It's uh, and then we on this page we've got the bouquets, lots and lots of florals and the edges, which I always make really good use out of. So very excited for this and. I think this because I've gotten so used to this particular format when it comes to a decorative kit and the amount of florals that I get in it this is this becomes like really really useful just with the way that I like to work in my um in my bullet journal when I'm decorating my spreads but I am excited excited to see how this all comes together uh because there's just some gorgeous images in here and I think this is going to be a ton of fun to plan with oh I'm missing comments uh, hello, hello, how are you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Planners and Tacos. Hey, girl. Um, 
and Mark and Marple say, gotta run. Have a wonderful day, Tay. Thank you for the fun live. Thank you for being here. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, and this of course will be saved to my YouTube channel. So if you didn't get a chance to catch the entire thing, uh, it'll, you, it'll be available for playback as well. So, but that's it. That is everything I needed to haul, which I am so excited because there's a lot of stickers in here that I really want to go ahead and get started using. And now I can because I've hauled them. So Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Uh, let me know down in the comments what sticker shops you've been shopping at recently and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.